I'm Simon King, and this is What's Wrong. Thank you for watching this podcast. And if you're just listening to this podcast, you could be watching this podcast on youtube.com slash The Citizen Strange. Uh, I uh, have had that YouTube channel for a long time, and I refuse to change it. Quite frankly, that's just the way it is. There is no homeowners association for YouTube. You can go fuck yourself. Um, I uh, I'm very uh, very happy you're listening. I'm very happy you're sharing and reviewing the podcast. People are um, coming on board, and I'm really excited. And uh, now we're up to um, we're almost up to double digits for viewers. Woo! So that's we're almost up to eleven. Wow. Almost to eleven. Almost up to eleven. Uh, as we with always clapping off camera uh, like a seal <laughs> who's been fed heartily is. <laughs> Is uh, everyone's favorite producer, Mikey Greenwood, ladies and gentlemen? Mikey Greenwood, Greenwood. Yay. 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 and uh, and our guest today. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna pause because he's one of my favorite people in the whole world. I love him. I love his comedy. It's it, look. If you could take comedy from the Catskills, <laughs> comedy from the Borscht Belt, comedy from that time, but with a dash of David Tell, and you could put it into one man. Sam Tonning, ladies and gentlemen. There he is right there, Sam Tonning. Thank you. You got to see Sam Tonning. But right now, you got to see this. It's our podcast, and... um I think it's uh, I think it's great because you know it's like it's funny because I, I was saying that last episode we flipped around so I'm on this side now. It's weird. Normally I'm on that. It's weird, yeah. right? We're backwards. I feel like we're looking at everything in a mirror. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like you ever see those trick shots where they like do? I would love to do a stand-up set like that where you just don't face the audience. You just look in a mirror and you just do your set like Annie Oakley. Would that work for you? <laughs> There's a lot of information. That was, this is what happens. Oh, I, it's what's wrong I'm with drinking, Simon I'm, King. I'm, yeah. And the funny, the funny thing is, is it used to be just me bitching about things, but it's basically <laughs> wow. this podcast has turned into me just hanging out with my friends, and that's what's right. That's what's there right. With yeah, I don't and, know, man. I, I don't know this, how to do that. I did this podcast years ago when you were a bit more, you know, renegade about it, and you'd walk around with a Zoom. I cared. You, well, <laughs> I, you cared enough to buy a Zoom. <laughs> cared enough to buy a Zoom, <laughs> right? But uh, yeah, I remember I had to be like edited out quite a bit. Yeah, you were on the old podcast. A lot of people don't realize that this is the rent. So what happened was the old podcast was a neighborhood that everyone liked and people hung out there and they <laughs> raised their kids there. <laughs> and then one day we gentrified it and we turned it into this. <laughs> Who moved in? This guy. After that, and, 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 I saw and then no Sam episodes. Tonning liked it so much he moved back. He went to the big city. <laughs> welcome back. He just all oh, welcome back, Cottered himself, <laughs> came back to the podcast again. So this is what Sam looks like. Because last time you only heard what Sam sounded I, like. I, you know, I probably sounded very similar. <laughs> I think, you, yeah, you did. You, 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 at that time, you would uh, really into auto or asphyxiation, so you had a much deeper voice. Man, I remember when you called me the next day. I was walking across. <laughs> you were fucking the drunk. Canby Street Bridge, <laughs> and uh, and you're like, hey, man, just want to let you know, like, I had to edit a lot of that podcast. <laughs> Can we get a taste of something? I did it. I did it here. I edited it out because um, he uses the hard R a lot, and <laughs> <laughs> no, I edited. <laughs> it out because what happened was I have this thing where I'm like if people are too drunk and stuff I don't want this like because people say funny you know, like comedians particularly are, are often dark and have dark jokes and everything and so sometimes it out, out of context like I think the internet has a problem reading intent and and context yes and so it's very easy to take things any you take anything out of context and it's very easy to make it spin to I mean this is what media does all the time and so the problem is is like is like if you take three comedians having a conversation well, let's just take a Kanye step back here and let's talk about the mainstream media for a minute yeah <laughs> by the way to this is brought to, to you why by MSNBC <laughs> why I had to be edited no. <laughs> Just right there, you're like, and here's the thing about Rupert Murdoch. He can suck on my dick. You know, my dicks. I, can you, I've never heard Rupert Murdoch speak, but yeah. I can't imagine a man who looks like that sounding well, you know like he, Crocodile Dundee. You know why he only speak? You know why you can't hear him speak? Because you're not a dog, and he speaks in dog whistles. Uh, oh, boom. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that's pretty good. Up next that's on. Fun. <laughs> this the is show. Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> I'm in charge of fucking everything. <laughs> That's all he says. What's his backstory? Where did he come from? Well, he, I didn't um, know he runs well fox. what happened was a wow. crocodile ate his mother, and then oh. but while she was pregnant, and the crocodile Classic gave Australian birth to him. Story. Crocodile Cro tears. Classic Australian, and they, uh, they gave birth to him, and then he wandered out of the bush. I went fucking walk about and made a media company. <laughs> and then he fucking wandered into Sydney or wherever he did, and then he fucked George W. Bush or George Bush. I can't remember which one. Right. And then uh, out of it, out of his, out of George Bush's ass, uh, the original George Bush fell um, a bunch of CIA documents News and Corp. Fox News. And Fox yeah. News. News Corp. Oh, News Corp. Oh, wow. News Corp. <laughs> News Corp sounds so 
fucking like if you're writing a script yeah you know what i mean like you're like who's the bad company news corp well it's, it's like fucking mr robot dude like evil corp evil corp right yeah, yeah. yeah if you had to name so so say say you had say you're running all right an e- i'm listening you, right, i'm you, in you're running an evil corporation <laughs> i'm listening all right you so I you're in charge that. of an evil corporation yeah, John, right? i can tell you what we do for a living uh, what is it uh human uh sen- slavery we do slavery <laughs> <laughs> uh, no <laughs> I almost said human centipede. Well, I almost I wanted. Uh, it's okay. Uh, human slavery. No, 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 so, no, okay. I can okay. tell you what we do for a living. Like the corporations just punching a clock. I've already thought about this. Okay, right? what's and the company? It's, it's not. It's not slavery. It's the worst company ever. No, no, no. It is. It, it, it's a, a company that facilitates the movement of labor across international borders to help construct major public works and uh, major infrastructure projects. Wow. Right, so coming I from see that this being, angle, I see this place being based in Dubai. Uh, that is the recipient of many of the labor. <laughs> I fucking lost my shit in Dubai over that. I really did. It must have been hard for you to be in Dubai. <laughs> it was. Um, I will tell that story one day. But suffice it to say, I slept in a chair with my Canadian and British passports in each hand. <laughs> for real? Kidding. I'm not fucking You've been kidding. to Dubai before? Oh yeah. Can we yeah. get into it? We'll get into it maybe later. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited, man. I got my. I'm getting ready a, to go. It was a Dubai. Go- are you going to Dubai? No, I'm going to England. Oh man, when are you going? Speaking in a couple of days, slavery. right? You're going soon. Yeah, I'm Speaking of slavery, yeah. Brexit. <laughs> um. So, uh, where are you going, London? I'm going to London for a few days. I got a spot on back here. That's gonna be fun. Love it. It's great, man. It's London. Great you know, London is one of those places where it's like I lived there for a while, and I've been a few times, and 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 I really, it's um. It's weird because, like, you think of England because of the connection with Canada as being like Canada. It's not at all. I usually think of England while I'm having sex. Yeah, of course. That's how you lie back and think of England. Well, we we hung out in England because of that. Like, we did. Know, yeah, I saw back, you. Came to the club at Backyard. It was uh, I got mm. a ticket. It was a lot of fun. Fucking fantastic club. If you're in London, in Bethnal Green area, go to Backyard Comedy Club. It's a fucking great place to be. It's it's, in my opinion, I, I mean, my humble opinion, the best club in London mm-hmm. for for what I do. Um, Top Secret's great and everything. Comedy Store's great and everything, but Comedy Store's sort of a different thing. It's do, yeah. It's it's sort of like an old schooly thing. Like I think Backyard is is it's fun, pretty fucking damn good. Is there yeah. a difference doing uh, comedy in London versus Vancouver? Uh, yeah, there's lots of differences in the sense of like, uh, well, first of all, if you do a headline set in London, it's 20 minutes. Oh, well, the headliner in England, there. It's 20 hey, minutes. Yeah, right. headline, there you go. 20 minutes. You got 20 minutes of material. You're closing the fucking show, buddy. All right. You and two and, um, other people. And it's funny, you get two. Yeah, that's the thing. So, so there's, there's usually in a club, there's one show in a night there as opposed to two. Sometimes there's two, but it depends on the club. But it, so it's like uh, an MC goes up or a compare, as they call them, and then the uh, then your act goes up does twenty. That's your first headliner. Then there's a twenty minute intermission. Then your compare does like seven to ten. Right. Then your second headliner, and then another twenty minute intermission, and then your third set of that. And what happens is during I these so intermissions, many intermissions, the secret breaks. Sell booze, well, it's the man. booze, buddy. So what happens during these intermissions is people get fucking, fucking <laughs> yeah. pissed. So after each intermission, a different show. Totally <laughs> fucking head to the fucking toilet, <laughs> do some Charlie, watch some fucking some comedy. Char- <laughs> fucking hell, this guy, this fucking American bloke, fucking fat guy with a fucking lumberjack shirt, blows <laughs> my fucking mind, mate. That's basically what you get. Fucking legend. Yeah, <laughs> fucking ledge, full on fucking ledge. Um, but it's weird. It's a very different style. So when I first went there, yeah. uh, I, I was, I, you know, so I've been at that time. I'd been a comic for fifteen years, and okay. so when I first went to London, I was like, all right, well, I mean, I'd gone before and mm-hmm. done some shows, but when I first moved there, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start from the bottom, uh, like Drake. And then end up end up <laughs> in the middle. Yeah. yeah, not like Drake. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to start from the bottom, and then I'm going to take names out of a mic at an, uh, out of a hat at open mic. I'm going to start because I figure I've got a, a month to learn the terrain before I got to start earning. I got yeah. a little bit of a buffer, right? right? And then I had not signed with the management or agent yet because I was like, well, let's see if I can make this work here. Sure. And so I did a few of those and it turned out went well. And then I had some shows that went well and everything. And then uh, a buddy of mine, the, the great Glenn Wool said to me, he's like, you need to address the fact that you don't sound like a British person off the top. You need to right. do that. And I was like, no, yeah. the audiences doesn't, don't need to be spoon fed. He's like, I don't think you understand. I've done this a lot. And I'm a, uh, me, Simon, being such a fucking idiot. I'm like, how would this man who's a way better comic than me who's just been living more here shows? For a decade. <laughs> you know, how would he possibly yeah, know more than me? Made his way in England too. And, right? uh, and so uh, after being stubborn and stupid for the first uh, month or so, I took his advice and all I did was I just, I would do this thing where I go up and go, uh, uh, I'm a Canadian, not American. And then I'd shit on America for like 30 seconds. Right. Mm-hmm. And then I would be like, they would cheer. 
as people do, and I go, you're cheering like England's not the America of Europe, and then I would just shit on England. But then what I would do is about halfway through, I go, have you seen people from the north of this country? They're like, they're fat and potato shaped. They're like, have you seen them on vacation in Spain? They're like, fucking, I can't believe you can't get fish and chips. You're fucking a beef. But when I would do that, <laughs> they would be like, he can do our voices? And I was like, yeah, I'm one of you, motherfucker. And then I would tell them that I was born there, and then we would go through, and then that was it. It would only take about three to five minutes off the top. And I would make some joke about Jimmy Savile at the time or whatever the fuck it was. I can't remember exactly what it was. Uh, trying uh, to think what that was the other I day. I gotta drop out of my spot because I can't do any of that fucking shit. I was like, shit. for the guy, I was like, for the, it was Jimmy, Jimmy Savile would go, oh man. Jimmy Savile, I just heard about Jimmy Savile, and this guy got away with this for this long, and I'm like, he must have been the most normal-looking human. What the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> that guy looked like AIDS in a tracksuit. Oh. You're running a fucking rope in this country? <laughs> like, wow. Just out of my mind. So it was like, so once I figured out that step in, yeah, and then it was instantly, but we, England has this weird, like, different towns. London, not so much. But mm. different towns have this weird kind of almost xenophobic streak where they need oh, you to address man. the fact that you were not one of them. Oh, okay. And it's funny to the point where had I stayed there longer, uh, I was thinking about starting to do shows just in an English accent like this. <laughs> and then just, just doing this and just being like, how's everyone doing tonight? You guys are very lovely. But it'd be a different uh, you're set, right. You start different... out and you go, oh, you're right. We're right. And that's yeah, how you start. Right? And then you just, yeah, just <laughs> have this weird like sort of like from um, Royal Booth Wells or whatever the fuck it's name is it Royal Tunbridge Wells and I have this accent like this and then just go out and just do my yelling about the system <laughs> fuck the system because I remember Queen um, Princess Charlotte was born at the time and I remember coming out on stage and going be like oh this fucking baby who's never gonna have a job just got born <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, great, another fucking person who's not going to pay into the fucking and take the doll the whole life. And the audience fucking hated me. What did you hate him? Why was it Nottingham? Oh, it was. I was up in the north where they keep their southerners. Uh, Did you ever try it in an accent? No, I never did. But I did do accents in my act and it fucking confused them. (laughs) It really confused them. You think you could have tricked them? Well, I mean, fucking, they're not ready for it, right? Are they? Like, you come out like that and you, like, talk like that that yeah, blows the fucking mind. I'm not mind. ready for they're it, They're not man. ready for it. But, I mean, having that accent coming from my face, as comfortable as I am with that accent, it does not seem <laughs> to make sense. I, I don't know if you're doing a fucking accent right now, man. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it is. You this are is oscillating the, yeah. between, like, Just you know, around. Scouse. Yeah. To so bouncing Canadian. around, could go all the way to Welsh, couldn't I? Could go ah. all the way to Welsh and then go all the way up to Scottish and then that's easy enough to do. Do the Welsh and again. Then go all the way down to Welsh <laughs> and I go to talk like that. Yeah, right. hello. Go, hello, my name. Hello, yeah, how are you, my friend? Welsh, it's very friendly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my grandma, my grandma was Welsh. Um, Sing song. And, uh, they are. It's that's well. You can see where like that comes from. That right, and they go up there, and then you can see where the fucking comes from. The Liverpool sounds like because yeah. Liverpool's right across the fucking water, right? So my mum's from my mum and my dad, my dad are scousers, right? So they fucking sound like that. And then across the across the Mersey, it's like even more thick. But then I got in trouble with a guy in Hot Water Club in London in uh, Liverpool. Because I was, that's yeah, the name of the club. It's called Hot Water. And you got was, in trouble in a place called Hot Water. And it's funny. <laughs> and it was right across the right across the Mersey from Wallasey, where my parents are from. Yeah. And I said, in the Mersey, it's you know, it's like a fucking kilometer wide. It's in the two kilometers maybe. It's not that big. And I was there, and I go, this is amazing, guys. Like my parents are scouts. They're from. Oh. They're scum, yeah. They're from Wallasey, and I said this is amazing because they would—they basically lived in Liverpool. They would yeah. just come over through the tunnel, right? And then after the show, and I would do the accent. Everyone loved it and everything. It was amazing that I came here, you know, from in Canada, blah blah blah, blah and here I am, a few hundred meters from where they, you know, they lived. This guy after the show wanted to fucking batter me oh, because yeah. he's like, you, they're not proper fucking wolves. I was like, what are you saying? He's like, they're not proper fucking wolves. And then one of the guys around the club's like, oh, he's just mad because they're from the other side of the channel, uh, other side of the, uh, the the fucking Mersey. And wow. I was like, you know how pathetic your fucking tiny little shit country is? Like, I just lit yeah, him up. Yeah. I was like, just because someone fucked someone's goat 200 years ago from some other side of the fucking river, I don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> just it's like, like, it's like someone, lit him up, lit him up. It's like someone from Carisdale threatened someone from Richmond for saying they're from Vancouver. It makes no fucking sense, right? It makes right? no fucking sense. You know sense. how many people out there are talking about how they're from Vancouver and they're from fucking Coquitlam and we don't taste shit? Right, yeah, well, yeah. And you don't pay our property taxes, dude. I don't pay property taxes. I don't, I don't know anything. We rent. <laughs> we rent. We're renters. We should just call this We Rent Podcast until the numbers go up. <laughs> we even rent the studio. Yeah. We rent everything. In order, in order for me to be able to pay property tax, I need about, oh, 100,000 Patreons. So, a month. And uh, so, speaking of Patreon. Yes. Uh, Simon King is now on Patreon. The Patreon saying to Patreon. <laughs> yes. Patreon.com slash this is Simon King. That's great. And you can find extra bonus episodes. 
There are extra bonus episodes. There are things, Ooh. and I said this on the last podcast. Wow! That my I only have one tier. I have one tier, and it's called Tears of a Clown. <laughs> I, I, I don't know fucking anything. No, about. yeah, yeah. So people sign up on my Patreon, and then and then what I want to do actually when the podcast gets a little because I wanted to do this initially, I wanted to do a little like sort of like a little podcast. Uh, uh, well, originally I wanted to do a stand-up comedy um, cocktail soiree where we have a little Ooh. cocktail party, mm. where a little DJ in and stuff, and hang out, and everyone can zoom in, but. Um, at this time, it will be like uh, there's not really enough patrons yet to make it make sense. No, because it'd be like you and maybe eight people. Just that's generous. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm assuming that's the number that would show up. It would be like a money. big family dinner at this point. Oh, that's if okay. your family was four people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but we will get there. Yeah, um, I'm right. You will. Yeah, we will I, get there. You know, I think Patreon's an interesting platform, right? I think it is. It, you know how people do GoFundMe's for like when when you know your yeah. pet gets hit or your spouse yeah. is in a wheelchair after a car accident? Or your spouse hits your pet and then you put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck you. Absolutely. Hey, that dog's my friend. <laughs> right. Hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. Patreon is the way to go for these kind of things. Let's go. You support me in this mm-hmm. situation. Because mm-hmm. then you really know, like, the people who make that one-time donation. I'm like, oh, finally I can forget about whatever, Juanita or whatever. Yeah. And then Renita, shout out Renita, <laughs> shout out Renita, yeah, shout out Renita. And then, uh, and, and then you can really find out who drops off from supporting your Patreon all the yeah. time. Yeah, and then you have their email, and you can chase them. You're fucking right, and then you know how to like cut them out of everything, right? Yeah, you know how to attack them. Oh, you come to my show, but I'm not, I'm not worth a dollar fifty a month. Oh, yeah. go fuck yourself. What do you, what do you mean? You, here's, here's the thing I will notice about Patreon. So I have a Patreon where the minimum they'll let me set is basically a dollar American. So it's a dollar fifty Canadian essentially. Wow, um, that's the minimum they'll let me set. But people can pledge whatever they want. Um, I don't think anybody has only pledged a dollar. No. Almost everybody pledges more. And the thing is, is like, I, like I've always said this you about my what? fans. I will pledge a dollar. That I like. You'll get $1. access 50, to the boner. Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty Canadian. Wow. Yeah, see, <laughs> what is this? now? We're talking big dollars, right? Uh, now it's all of a sudden. You know what it's like when you buy something at auction and then you're like, "What do you mean I got to pay this fucking premium?" Oh, don't even get me fucking. I used to hang out of the auctions all the time, right? Of, of course, course you did. That's the most Sam yeah, I did. Yeah. I would hang out of the auctions. Hang out of the auctions all the time. Those cows ain't gonna sell themselves. <laughs> yeah, right. I went to the fucking livestock the fu- auction. Did you want to be an auctioneer once? An auctioneer? No, I never wanted to be an auctioneer. I wanted to sell and buy things at auctions for fun, man. Okay. In Victoria. Okay. Lunds, the guy who owned it, this fucking guy, man, he wore a beautiful, like, blue suit. Yeah. It's a three piece, double breasted, fantastic. He had this solid gold. He had two breasts? <laughs> solid gold what fucking man. Rolex. Only in and a side part that was, like, so oh, over I the love, top. I love it and over the top side part. Comb. Oh, fuck yeah. The guy was probably, you know, 45, but had the hairline <sighs> of. That's me. so old. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was, it was no, amazing yeah, I know to what you're see saying. that, right? It's like and a I slick looked, dude. So I used to go hang out of the auctions and I'd buy, you know, household goods auctions or arts or whatever. Yeah. And, and I actually <laughs> sold stuff in some auctions. Did you? Yeah. What's, I, what's the What's the first thing you ever sold? The first, I sold two things. That's the first thing you ever sold was two things? <laughs> the first thing two I ones. ever sold was <laughs> a um, an HBC cashmere scarf Ooh. that I found. It's, okay. it's, it's a great story. It's not. It's very boring. On but, someone at a party. Yeah. <laughs> Who was asleep? No, I was, I was studying at college, yeah, I and I was in a study room, and um, I wasn't even in a study room. I was like in a fucking cafeteria, right? Yeah. Right. And I sit early on. There's someone there with a scarf, and and I look up. I look down. I'm studying for a couple hours. I look up. No, no one's there, but there's a scarf. And I'm there all day, and no one comes to the fucking scarf. Mm. And there is no lost and found in this fucking place. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. A hall. It's just found. And like I've been here for twelve hours, and I wasn't studying. Was that long? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That's you, yeah. They're just scouting a scarf. Yeah, I'm just You're like, what's happening? Just... It's all, you yeah, know, I needed money, man. <laughs> they're dead by I now. I needed yeah. money, yeah. so I took it. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, I took it from the lost like and found. This. And I brought it down to an auction. I made two hundred bucks. What? Yeah, it's a good flip. A good flip. Yeah, this second. is why you are successful and I'm not. I because not. I would have just looked at that scarf and go, I hope it finds an owner. Yeah. <laughs> it would leave. My, I would actually, cash. I would give it to the cashier and the cashier would be like, oh, free scarf. Like, I <laughs> and would then just, they would I'm sell so, it for they I wish there was a cashier. So. This is like a fucking public seating area. There's no goddamn cashier anywhere, man. Just a scarf sitting there. Just a scarf. <laughs> and it was beautiful. Did you oh, think really? of keeping it for yourself at all? No, it's a women's. It was a lady's scarf. Okay. All right. I mean, none of that stopped me from wearing. But I know you smelled it while you jacked off. 
what do you think? What do you think a porta potty is for? I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Yeah. I mean, it's, it says like, slightly mm. used on the auction pamphlets. Mm, Paco Roban. Uh, second thing I sold at an auction. Yeah. Another scarf. Oh, I think we got a niche. A, <laughs> you a found a niche. niche. He bought the scarf and sold it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just bad, very bad with his profit margin. <laughs> yeah, I just keep keep flowing it. I, like, I made 200 bucks twice. <laughs> <laughs> but it cost me $40. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Sam's like, it's like I, I, don't, it. know, I don't know how to tell I you, buddy, it. but yeah, I don't think you're good at money. <laughs> This was a Burberry shawl cashmere. Oh, like Burberry, Ooh, Burberry. like Burberry. Yeah, the classic, the Nova proper Czech. design. Oh yeah, yeah. Got yeah, it yeah, at yeah, a Value yeah, yeah. Village for fifteen bucks. What? And then you flipped it at the auction. And I flipped it at the auction Ooh, for four hundred dollars. How Kevin? Fox Holy of you. shit, dude! That's an amazing. I love Burberry though. Like ah, it's, I don't great. wear I don't wear cologne a lot, right? Um, because I just smell great. Anyway, yeah. good. Musk. Um, I just yeah, I just roll in dirt. Most of my my family, hippo family, we roll in dirt, and that's how we stay cool. <laughs> it's good for my skin. Um, that's why I say youthful looking. People are always like, "What's your skincare regime?" I'm like, "Well, you find a big pile of dirt and you put your face in it." And What's, your your regime? Regime? You What's your regime? What's your regime? My regime is the uh, Paul Pot night cream, and you put it on. And Not the Paul Pot <laughs> night cream. Fall, to, oh, fall yeah. asleep to screaming. Um, so uh, yeah, no, I uh, I love Bur Burberry. Is one of the few colognes that I. Yeah. Can wear i don't i don't find you know like with the colognes like i'm not a cologne are you guys cologne guys no i just no? got cologne yeah i'm not a oh, cologne yeah? guy yeah. and i find that like sometimes i'll sniff something in the magazine and be like they've you know back in the day for me <laughs> that's what's really the internet's got to really hurt <laughs> isn't hustler a great magazine <laughs> I'm gonna rub this on my face. Yeah. Um, I think that I think that the people who were really hurt by the death of print media has got to be the the sample people. The sample, uh, yeah. How yeah. Sample culture. Get, how are we gonna get this finger full of night cream to people? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how are we gonna get this weird smelly flap in a magazine? Oh, yeah. I love it, man. Like how are they gonna? But yeah, so Burberry is one of the things. Flap. The smelly flap in a magazine. <laughs> Back to Pentos. I'm yeah. not very good at I'm not very good at uh, at naming things, right? Yeah. Like uh, my son is named. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, wow, how, very, how very Elon Musk of you. Elon. Yeah. yeah, isn't his son named like uh, the le Greek letter pi times x or something? I have no fucking clue. Just look at Grimes. Grimes. Like, I'll never understand. This. She went to Bing, Vancouver. Grimes is bang. like, but Fucking the thing is, is hits, like, right? Grimes. Point Gray. Like you'd name yourself Grimes. <laughs> Like, what would your what would your electronic music DJ name be? Fuck, that's a tough one. That's uh, a great name. That's yeah. the name. <laughs> DJ, fuck, that's a tough one. It's like, oh shit, here comes the drop. Ah! <laughs> Just throwing scarfs at people. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, deep. Yeah. Did you have any nicknames in general? That could be your DJ name. Oh, my, uh, How about this? Sammy Tonning. Sammy Tonning. Yeah. <laughs> I like that, right? D DJ Sammy DJ Sammy Tonning. No, I, I think I'd probably go DJ Leonard. I like that though. I love That's that. That's like a twist almost. Yeah, DJ yeah. Leonard. Because if you said to me, it's like, tonight, DJ Leonard, and you'd be like, what the fuck is this? Because yeah. you're expecting a Walter Matthau character yeah. or just some guy who's like the hippest, coolest, like black guy with like a cool, like zip up yeah. tracksuit. Yeah. You're like, that guy's fucking gorgeous. And then it's Sam, and you're like, what the fuck's what, gonna what's happen? What's going on? What do you spin? Like Yanni? <laughs> it would be Christopher Cross mixed in oh, with be, early hip hop. Yeah, be, no, it would be fucking like dubstep Christopher Cross. Dubstep Christopher Cross. Across. <laughs> Say, <laughs> ling. Wait for the oh drop, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Tim was wonder, a swan juice. <laughs> 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 I like, you know, I love Can you beatbox? We... Can you beatbox? No, box, I right? can't do shit, man. Can you beatbox? I not only can't, I have a disdain for people who do. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. You're a prejudiced bo beatboxer. You hate beatboxers. It's not. It's, yeah. Why? I don't know. I think I saw Justin Timberlake do it. Yeah, that'll make you hate it. It's everyone. always the that's people why hate, you don't want to beatbox. That's like. why I hate Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Timberlake also did that. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the, the beatboxing, you just don't like it. Hey. I just don't like it. That's an art form. How do you do though. it? Like, you know, you obviously... You can do it. That's cool. <laughs> All right, I'm kind of liking it. I'm enjoying this. This is fun. It's just like basic. You sound like... That's pretty incredible. I'm pretty blown That's away pretty here. Right. Most, I guess I don't like when people rap 
with it. So <laughs> I that's, don't think you can so beatbox like and rap. rap. I think that's or what it comes like, down they'll to. Say, right? we're, they'll say free, like dirty pop. I'm just referring to Justin Timberlake. And yeah, you Justin just basically don't like Justin. <laughs> I think we just discovered that you just don't like Justin Timberlake. I don't yeah. like what he did when he beatbox. It's like, I don't like people who beatbox. I also don't like Justin Timberlake. Hold on a second. Wait, There's one song he he beatboxes in, dirty pop. Yeah, he does like, he does like, we like, like the weird like because it's like, cool. I like your it. beatbox that's pretty impressive I don't think I've been around good beatboxers what would your DJ name be DJ Sad <laughs> uh, I thought it'd be like you know King All of the you Night play is Enya? DJ Weepy <laughs> <laughs> just DJ Sad it's just just right. <laughs> <laughs> just, just wait for the drop. <laughs> you sample diaper noises and shit. <laughs> just DJ, DJ, DJ body sounds. It's DJ body sounds. <laughs> Justin Timberlake beatboxing. Yeah, man, it's fucking, I never thought about beatboxing just to, just to human sounds. You have a 15 minute chunk of material now. This is amazing. I love it. You're headlining the Isle of Wight first. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ. give it up for DJ Dry Heave. <laughs> just, like, just wait for the drop. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself throw up. No one. This is a, this is what this is a vomit screen. Nobody knows that. That's yeah. a first vomit right, screen. Yeah. Pop. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Pop so. Pop the rocket box. Uh, um, that's pretty great. What? So, yeah. We got so, wines on the table. We do. And I, I think we, we should they, address this. They've almost been knocked over a couple times. So. Yeah, I think we should yeah, address yeah, what we is we got to talk about these wines. Sam travels with glasses so, and wine. Yeah, what, Sam, what people don't know about Sam Tawning is not only is he a fine, he cuts a fine line of a gentleman. Uh -huh. He is he is a, he is a <laughs> hilarious comedian. Uh, Jesus. A connoisseur of dirty jokes. Yeah. What's your favorite dirty joke? Uh, Doesn't even have to be yours because Gilbert Godfrey just died recently. So, what's your yeah. favorite dirty joke? Well, it's not going to be a Gilbert joke. I'll no, probably no, say the saying. one that I, I love the most right now. It's probably a tell joke. I uh, I love a tell. Found a butt plug on the bus the other day. How did I know it was a butt plug? It uh, fit perfectly. <laughs> That's great. That's a great joke. I right? thought it was because so it tasted like one. Yeah, it tasted no, like one. There's no, there's not, no fat on that. Uh, joke. Found a butt plug. <laughs> on the bus the other day. <laughs> There's no fat on that joke, though. That's the thing no. about word economy that comedians don't understand. If you're a comedian listening to this, fucking get a better job. <laughs> but if you're a comedian um, listening to this, word economy is so important because taking every every step you take between you and the and oh, the, the punchline between the audience notes. and the punchline is really important <laughs> so it's like it's like if you add too many words in there the audience will actually in a way kind of just lose focus on you yeah yeah so that's great so i found a butt plug on the on the bus the other day how to know a butt plug it fit personal perfectly yeah it's like and, three and beats yeah you can take you can take you know, there's a certain amount that has to be there, but a joke like that, that's a that's a 15 second joke. Yeah, and it and builds that's all the it needs. world. And boom, 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 and boom, 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 and that's gonna be uh, knowing a tell, knowing his work. That's gonna be in the middle of a bit that builds towards that. You know, that's the way. It's so amazing how technical stand up comedy is when you when you actually start doing it a lot and yeah. you're like oh shit there's like so sucks. much going on here it sucks, oh, yeah. dude yeah. dude it sucks so and you can't like, use the same word twice is another yeah. thing that i realized and, and yeah. you know how many times i've faced that problem with the word <laughs> cum yeah it's stupid <laughs> and it's like they're spelled differently I what know. are other words you use for cum i don't i try to just do the source.com is actually yeah. written to the fbi <laughs> I like this dude might be you know, I need to watch this guy. I keep the C U M and I change the C O M E. Oh uh, mm. home. I used to have a joke like that and I go, guys, I don't know, I'm not very good with the English language. I keep confusing there, there, and there. See, I just did it. <laughs> it's just so it's stupid. Funny, man. But I love jokes like that. I um I um yeah, so I, I think that word economy and stuff like that is so so important. I'm not talking about getting the maximum jokes out per minute. You don't have to do that, but it's a matter of like Making sure those jokes are as lean as they can be. Yeah. Think about it like you're building an airplane, and think about it mm. like it's in the wind tunnel. Yeah. Take everything off there that produces drag, and then you just get the fastest thing you can, and then just keep creating those. And if you do that enough, you end up like a Rodney. 
You know, yeah. like punch, punch, punch. Rodney's jokes had no fat. No or fat. you end up like a I'll Stephen tell you what Wright. does have fat in my fucking face. All right. <laughs> my wife. Hey, hey, yeah. I'll tell you this. All right. You know. You know Didn't Gilbert Godfrey do a whole album of like street jokes? It was called up? Dirty Jokes. Yeah. And it's yeah. one of the best albums. A lot of them were street jokes. One a of the lot, jokes, most of them were street not, jokes. Yeah. Not all, though. Yeah, there were some that were his. Yeah. And they took it off Spotify years ago. And Dude, it's, it's still, so it's good. One of, it makes me laugh like nothing else, man. You know what? As a tribute to Gilbert, I'm going to try and do one. All right. Which will. Oh, man. I can't wait. A man is walking down down the beach and he sees a lamp and he picks up the lamp and he rubs it and a genie comes out and goes hey thanks for freeing me i'm gonna grant you one wish and the man thinks and he takes out a map from his pocket and goes this is the middle east it's a very troubled part of the world is there any chance with your massive powers you could bring peace to my people and the genie looks at the map and he shakes his head and he goes sadly even with all my powers, there's no way I can solve this problem. Is there something else less difficult you can have me do? And the man thinks, and he goes, I've been married to a Jewish woman for 35 years. Can you get her to give me a blowjob? And the genie says, can I look at the map again? <laughs> yeah. That's literally the joke we love I was you, Gilbert. to remember. Yeah. We love you, Gilbert. Oh, man. It was so... Rest oh. in peace. Dude, seriously, like <laughs> fuck, like I, that was aggressive. You said it like a threat. Like I love, like, I love, like Sam's angry obituary. Uh, Sam's angry um, uh, eulogies. Gilbert Godfrey had a great fucking life. <laughs> He was married and two kids. <laughs> Angry eulogies with Sam Tonic. Fantastic career. He threw it all away to pursue art. Rest in peace, <laughs> Gilbert. This fucking guy. Really <laughs> I love the idea of having pro wrestlers come in and yeah. do your eulogy. Oh A new my cameo God. series. Yeah. This mother <laughs> my God. God. That's the only pro wrestlers I know now. Macho de Man. Many I dead pro wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. I know Hulk Hogan and Macho Man. I don't know any. Ricky 80s, the, 90s. Ricky of the Stream Steamboat. Dragon Steamboat. No, Stone Cold. Ricky the, the, the Dragon Boat. No, no, Stone. Ricky the Dragon Boat. Yeah, but you know, he's right. Um, Terry Fox. That's he was a wrestler. <laughs> Terry Fox was a wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> Terry His Fox. leg drop was. <laughs> wow. And if you like Terry Fox and you're watching this, I'm sorry, but also like, fuck, man, it's been a while. <laughs> I like Terry Fox. Most people do. I think everyone do like Terry Fox. He's yeah, a great I guess not a guy. controversial <laughs> thing, right? He's, he's like, hey, normal. he's like, hey, I'm missing a leg. Let's go for a run. It's weird. The algorithm on YouTube for me just keeps feeding me. Terry Fox inspirational videos. Wow. Wow. But they're That's not what really you get on YouTube. No, they're just not supposed to be inspirational. <laughs> just, I just cry. Oh, I know. You're crying is yeah. Do you cry as a man, Mikey? Do all the time. Do you cry? Yeah, it's all good, right? All the time. Yeah. It's good I to cry. cry. My wife does not cry, and I'm crying all the time. Yeah. yeah. That's good, though. What's the last thing that made you cry? Oh. This podcast. <laughs> no, I think, I think, I, I mean, I lost a few people last year. Oh, so that made me cry. Yeah. I did. I did. I did cry a little bit there, and I cry. I, I made sure that uh, if I, I don't hide it from my son, I make sure he knows that like I cry. <laughs> pull it. In, pull I don't. I don't cry a lot. I'm not a big crier. I get. I get. I'm a very emotional person, but I don't cry a lot. But I do make sure that like if I cry, I don't hide it from him. I let him know that this right. is fine. Yeah. This is normal. But I also don't force it. So like I'm not gonna cry if like oh the bachelor is so rough. Like I'm not gonna be that guy. But like I, I did. People do force it. It's yeah, like, we did yeah. have some deaths last year that really hit me. Uh, a couple that were particularly hit me hard. And uh, I just kind of sat down in the kitchen and I just, because I got news of it and I just sat down in the kitchen and I just started crying. Yeah. And my son's like, what's wrong? And I said, a friend of mine has died. And he goes, oh, and he's like five, right? At right. the time, it's like, you know, mm -hmm. just five. And I, and I go, um, that means that I will never see him again. And he goes, oh, okay. And then he just sat there with me and he held my hand. And I was like, that Aww. is the fucking best dude, man. That's so cute. And then I called him a pussy and I was like, man, up. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Don't be like your old man. Be tough, motherfucker. Right? And then I gave him a tattoo. <laughs> you know, because I <laughs> said, be tough. It said, it said, born to kill. Yeah. And, yeah. No, but I mean, I think that's important. Like, I think, I think, I think the idea that I think one of the reasons men fucking kill themselves is they don't cry. I wow. think it really is a big fucking deal. I learned deal. in grade yeah. six because shit was going on. I'm like, I think I need a mental health checkup. And then I learned to cry. Yeah. And then my wife is like, you need to go and learn to turn it back off because I'll cry at everything because we'll be at Spaghetti Factory there'll oh, be like no. a grandpa at a birthday and then I just start sobbing Aww, and she's that's over sweet. it but it, it's sweet for the first year yeah. eight years of this shit yeah, she's no, like every time rough. we go to a fucking Spaghetti Factory if there's a birthday you can't and cry and you go to the old it. Spaghetti Factory a lot I do yeah, he I, basically I love, lives there I love the OSF you yeah. know what happened yeah. OSF? <laughs> you know what happened is one time they fed him and just keeps coming back right? <laughs> it's like a stray do you last cry Sam last time I cried 
was uh, was uh, I do this a lot. Sometimes I go down like the rabbit hole, right? Yeah, and I just start listening to songs. Oh man, oh. music. Yeah, and it's just like. Ride Like the Wind by Christopher Cross gets me. Yep. At, no, <laughs> it just made me cry. <laughs> no, no, it was, no, uh, I'm Aretha with you for Franklin, it. <laughs> Aretha yeah. Franklin's rendition of Carol King's Natural Woman. Oh, Ooh. that's a good song, man. At, that's a good song. At the Kennedy Center, you know? I've Not never heard, heard that. It's version. alive. Yeah, live, yeah. and it's fucking nuts, Is that man. the you? What, what's, yeah, what's you make me feel like wow. a natural woman. And you're just, oh. you're sobbing. Oh, fuck, man, I can't. You know what You know what choked me up at Kennedy Center's that choked me up was um, Hart doing uh, Stairway to Heaven. Yeah, it was pretty part. great. Ooh, that was something, man. Like, there's, music is one of those things where it's like, it's really, um, it's incredibly powerful. Yeah. And the older you get, the more... Yeah, like, like music together, really yeah. hits you. Like you, you, you're a big fan of like yacht rock type well, soft I'm rock a stuff. Big music fan. You're overall. you're a jazz fan too. Like you like music a lot. <laughs> What's yacht know? rock? Yeah, he's like yacht rock's like Criss Cross and stuff like that. <laughs> Not Criss Cross. Smooth rock. Yeah. Smooth rock. Yacht, yacht, like um um uh, Looking Glass would be, wouldn't it be Looking Glass or or like uh Who's like that? um uh ho- is Hollow Notes? Ro- no, no, not really. Long. Like, was that um, weird? Are you like Michael something? Michael McDonald. Michael McDonald, Christopher <laughs> Cross. Oh, okay. um, um, who else? Oh, there's a few that are like... Toto. Toto, yeah. Yeah, that's... Kenny yeah, Loggins. Stuff, basically stuff you'd listen to on a yacht. On a yacht. Mm-hmm. Basically, the Doobie like, Brothers. Are the Doobie Brothers Yacht Rock? Yes. <laughs> oh, didn't we have this discussion once? <laughs> it's, it's being defined by yeah, another it is podcast. Yacht rock. It is Yacht Rock. Okay. Yeah. But uh, also... I was at uh, Motown <laughs> Records a few years ago. You fucking went to Motown? I went to Motown. You went to Detroit? I went to Detroit. Damn. I went to Cleveland and went to Detroit. <laughs> yeah. I drove around. It was a trip a few years a ago with my dad. Luxury. Oh, yeah? Nice. Uh, we flew into Toronto, rented a car, and drove around through Buffalo into Cleveland and then around to Detroit and back. Awesome. And it was great. Oh, it was so good. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, go see the Indians play at the time. Baseball yeah. team. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thanks, Mikey. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for that, buddy. I think <laughs> most people knew <laughs> so, what yeah. he was <laughs> saying. Yeah, not these cricketers who are students at the university. Or just a gathering. Yeah. Or a gathering of Indians or something mm. watching them play. Yeah. No, good. Thanks for the clarification. Yeah, we went to uh, Cleveland, Dubai, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Mumbai, and yeah, then we Mumbai. came back. We went back. Yeah. Michigan. I love it. I um. It's a big. That's a big. Run, that's a big round trip. But went it's the to, seventeen-hour flight in the middle. Fucks you. Went to. Um, Motown Records in Detroit. Nice. And stood in, because it's like mostly a fucking museum. It's all yeah, a museum, yeah, it's right? At this be. point, it's like upstairs, it's all this like memorabilia, you got to pick cover charge going. But then near the end, you actually go into the studios where they recorded everything and just stand oh, in the cool. middle of studio cool. A and be like, yeah. holy yeah. fuck, this is where some of the greatest songs have ever been recorded. Like and Gaye. it hit me. And I was standing like, oh, this dude, is yeah. where fuck yeah. Marvin Gaye recorded, you know, what's going on. This is where, you know, Ain't No Mountain was recorded. This is where oh, so God. much stuff was done. Like, oh, Wow. wow. Did you cry? Oh, yeah. Now, oh, there we go. Now, yeah, there. damn right I did. That's amazing. And then we went and ate hot dogs. Yeah, that's what you get to cry when you eat a hot <laughs> dog, <laughs> just <laughs> like gym class. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> eating with my anus. <laughs> I cried the first time I heard my son's heartbeat. I cried mm-hmm. because yeah. they did it. That, I mean, it was weird. It, it snuck up on me. I didn't expect it. And uh, we were there with the midwives, and uh, they do like an ultrasound with the midwives. Yeah. And I'd never heard it before. And I still have it on my phone. And uh, even to this day, when it pops up, I just like because it Is sometimes it a ringtone. It, don't, no, don't, yeah, don't, don't, don't. Ringtone. <laughs> sometimes it'll pop up like um, like just sometimes it's because it's like on, it's somewhere in the file. I can't find it. Memory of the day. But yeah, and you'll attach and you'll like plug into your your car and it'll pop up or something. And you can actually hear me kind of choking up on it. Because at the time I was like, I had the presence of money to be like, I need to record this. Yeah. Because this is like a once in a lifetime thing, right? And it's weird how like, it's just, it's weird how like, it's just a sound. It's this, it's just that weird sound. But well, part I'm of it. I'm fucking well, I got thinking but about part this part of too. it is like, part of it is like, you're just like, oh man, this is how, this is what I've done with my life and how my life's about to change. And everything uh, about that is just this fundamental experience of like it makes you in in that split second you take stock of who you are yeah. what you were who you might be who you have to be yeah what you have to do everything you are going to try every mistake you're going to fix and everything and it's just amazing yeah and it's weird how like you, you can like because music takes you music is 
so amazing that it takes you back. Like, I think, oh, second only to smell, I think music takes you to places. You can time like, travel with a good yeah, song. You really man. can, man. Yeah, like, yeah. it just takes you to places that you you just, you're that person again for a second, for half yeah. a second, you know? It's interesting you bring up, like, the transformative power of hearing this heartbeat, right? Mm-hmm. And I imagine it's very similar to the, the time in your life when you realize that folding toilet paper is the better option. <laughs> it's exactly the same. <laughs> no, actually. ball. Bo- crinkle and Mike shove. Oh, crinkle and shove. Yeah, you, you know, here's the thing about being an advanced homo sapien. I also sorry. You're a crumpler. <laughs> you're, you're a crumpler. I'm a crumpler. I was also going to say there's also the moment you realize your partner doesn't wipe as much as they should. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, Mikey! I, I was like, I shouldn't say that on air. You have to. And then, it's a great <laughs> joke. And then you know that was nine years ago, right? right. That was before was your nine current years partner. Ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. You upgraded. Yeah, that was before. Yeah, I don't want people to think that's the same lady. It's not the same lady as the lady before. Um, but yeah, no, there's we that. got your back, it's Mike. Lindsay. It's Lindsay, guys. She needs to do at least there three more rare go rounds. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ! Christ. Christ. <laughs> uh, I'm not editing that out. <laughs> you can fucking stay. wear that. It's all right. She needs to learn. Oh, Jesus, wow. I, I think it's so, it's 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 so funny. Like it's like it's like you don't. I think the funny thing about conversation because I was talking about this the other day is like I noticed that Instagram mm-hmm. or TikTok is basically every pretty much every guy on TikTok is like lift heavy. Make <laughs> money make more money lift heavy <laughs> buy car things are more important than people ironic it's just this song yeah, it's this ironic weird ironic song it's this weird kind of it, like because i mean people don't talk about the body image that men have men have serious body image Fuck issues yeah, yeah and man. especially like it's like you look at like i can't stop looking at them right <laughs> yeah you know and it, but a lot of it like is like is like i mean there's that thing the meme going around is this is barbie and she has this 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 and this and, and yeah barbie was an unrealistic and ridiculous representation what of a, a fucking female. babe though hey yeah, right yeah. you know <laughs> Nice ass. <laughs> but then you look at He Man. Perfect flat ass. But then with they're no like, hips. but then they're like, this is He Man and every other superhero that's ever existed, and they have that weird yeah. like, you know, command Marvel out. comics have nine but packs. Yeah, they're, it's just not realistic, and and it, so I think that then, then the reason is like, there's this weird thing in men, particularly this competitive thing, because it's part of what we are. So you must achieve, you must provide. You, if you do not provide, you know, what is that? Chris Rock said a man is as only as valuable as what he can give. Oh, yeah. I and, think Chris uh, Rock actually said something about a woman with alopecia. I think Chris, <laughs> I think Chris Rock was like, should have ducked, motherfucker. <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> I'm gonna take Will Smith's money. Oh, <laughs> what a- Great. You're gonna sue the fuck out of that guy, <laughs> um, but I do think there's like that thing with like I think I think men that I think men need to have conversations that are much more honest about the place we are in the world oh, and yeah. how being a man in 2022 is very different than this weird artificial pre- pretense of what a man was in 1942 or whatever yeah. the fuck they were hanging on to. Yeah, yeah. Because I will fucking fight any of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll karate chop. I'll karate chop the fuck out of all your shit. I'll crunch up your fucking, I'll fucking crunch up your shit. Anyway, so, <laughs> went all Louis C.K. I, you know, I don't, I don't <laughs> doubt that uh, you know you'd murder someone. I think I have the. I, it's weird. I, we all I have, have the capacity. For I have murder. a thing in me where it's like I am very, very. I do not like violence. I do not like it. I do not want to be part uh-huh. of it. Um, but, but I, but I feel like I would probably be very good at it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> how I, would you do it? Do you know? Low center of gravity. I pull a guy's fucking head yeah. off his spine. <laughs> It's like we all know guys. Who I, got, like, I got, I got, I got, I got. I used to get bullied so mercilessly. One, intimate. one time, a kid like uh-huh. bullied me so badly in school. Take I some more notes. I grabbed his throat and I just did not let go. I just would not let go. And there was a moment where I was like, "I'm probably gonna kill this person." And he was literally. He went from the hitting me stage to the stopping hitting me to the doe-eyed like oh shit i got like like a deer that i hit by a car and i yeah. just would not let go of his throat because wow. i just did i didn't care and if he hit died. me how, how old was care. this uh, i was like 16 and 15 and he was six and he was 11. <laughs> no, 11. Um, but fuck him. Um, no, but no, but it was one of those things where I just had that full-on snap moment, and I was like, I really don't want to be this person. I will never do this again. Yeah. And uh, I kill a homeless guy once a year, and I'm fine. <laughs> get out of my system. I just finished. So they live downtown. They're, yeah, not they're, they're not people. They're not people. No, they're not doing anything. <laughs> and, that, and totally, that's going to be taken out of context, and that's done. <laughs> well, I read people. sarcasm, satire. Fuck. Fuck. I, uh, I read the uh, the Bishop's Man. Have you read that? No. No. No, it's by Lyndon McIntyre, best known for being the husband of Carol Off. Okay. Who's Carol Off? <laughs> She's on the CBC. Okay. Yeah. She's the she's the exact opposite of uh, Johnny On. Johnny oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carol Off and Johnny On. Yeah, but it's uh, it's interesting because it talks about this the the protagonist is this priest, right? Yeah. And uh, 
you know, he has a very rough upbringing. Yeah. And he was very violent as a kid until he beat his dad. Yeah. And then he never was violent again after that. You can, uh, yeah. Okay. I think I have to get rid of a thing. I have OCD, Sam. I really know. bad. <laughs> I have to get rid of a thing. It's but, not now. Uh, you know, I touched you because <laughs> I was thinking about the priesthood. No, fair enough. But, yeah, uh, no, fair enough. Thanks uh, for touching my front. <laughs> Yeah. But I think it's interesting. So he beat because, his, so that's when he decided that's that the trigger, violence right? was not it's thing. like it's not this is not the way to go forward. And then he joined the priesthood and you became yeah. a comedian. And did really? No, you became a oh, comedian. Oh, became a comedian. Well the thing is is like I Same think thing, that, I think that there's me. this yeah, celibacy, are celibacy, the new celibacy and loneliness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and getting cancelled. Although priests don't get cancelled. But there's this thing of like of like like I'm not a small human. Like and I, I when I was young particularly I was freak strong and there was this moment of like of like I don't want I do, I know there's something in there that I don't want I don't want out wow. because there are moments if there's it's almost I mean what I do on stage aside I don't get angry I just don't really get angry no. like I, I mean I'll even get annoyed I'll get frustrated even when I should I don't yeah um, but th- because I have a very heavy lid on this because I'm very worried that if I ever find that I'm like it and I'm good at it that I will just do that now yeah like and I don't want to be that guy so I just am like okay let's just fucking crush it down and kill it with bourbon cut it off good. speaking of booze um, Mm -hmm. we are at uh, so um, we were going to do a let's get random uh, this podcast, we're not going to do it because we're going to do something much more entertaining. We're still getting pretty, random. It's, it's kind of random. random. It is kind of random. So I mean, I guess let's get random. <laughs> um, but what? Yeah, what's going to happen is is Sam is a Somalia. Sam is very good at wine. He's from Somalia. He's he's from Somalia, <laughs> and he's <laughs> he's very good at wine. And uh, so what he what we're going to do is um, we're going to do um, the closest I've ever got to a grown up wine tasting. Because I've never been to one before. We're trying to see oh. if he's full of shit. If you well, can back I, it up, I mean, do you I know am, your I shit? Am full of shit. No, he knows what he's now, doing. Now, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. We need about two wines. So I bought two wines. One is a wine that is 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 a little less than um, classy. That's one is a wine that is not super classy, but I like it. I drink it. Yeah, of course. And then the other one is a wine that I like. I have only had once, but I liked. Okay. But it is what is considered. It's actually a wine you recommended to me. Okay. Oh. Um, right. So I picked a wine that you recommended to me, and I picked a wine. And I'm not going to tell you which is which. So which one should we? How do we well, do this? Well, we have two wines here. Wines okay. one and two. They're numbered and coincide with bottles. And Mike, you know, you, you have them as well. It's, I got them too. Mike's, Mike's going to join right us right there. And okay. One, number one's on the other side. And what we're going to do is we're going to, you know, <laughs> sniff and taste, and okay. we'll see. What, it's like what, the Pepsi challenge. It's the yeah, Pepsi it's challenge. exactly like that, but for grownups. <laughs> and uh, we're going to see. And well, we're also full of beer first, so this will be fucking great. What can we tell? about it all right so which one do you do one first we'll do so one how do we first. do you show us how to do all it. all right so we got the wine you're gonna look at it i see this you know what am i looking at here well look yeah. you know, give it a little bit of a, 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 a whatever this is called a tilt a tilt and look tilt. at the edge of the wine you see maybe you spill it hey just bend it like this mike there we go. and you see it's a nice reddish color it's pretty pretty pure red it's a ruby color i'd say this is a deep Ruby color. You know, I think so, yeah. Really I think it. it's a deep ruby. Very ruby. Give it a sniff. Oh, wow. Oh, it's got a hell of a nose on it. Yeah. What do you What do you smell in there, son? I smell oak. I smell, uh, okay. I smell whiskey. Shout oak out oak. What? Close enough. I smell... Uh, it's fur. His name's fur. Fur. His <laughs> name's fur. I smell... F- I smell... I smell... Um, okay, I smell wood. Yeah, for I sure. I smell there's, wood there's, for sure. Oh, there's a lot of oak in There's this. a lot of wood in this. Yeah. And I Where smell... Hmm. No, go ahead. Yeah. Where, where's the wood come from? Is it like a it, barrel? Well, it's from yeah, trees, like, Mikey. Usually, it comes well, from fucking trees. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. I can tell him everything. He's like a child. He's never been around people. But yeah. It's, 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 no. it's where actual does, wood contact. Where does wood want. come from? I don't know. Pinocchio shits it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Jesus Christ. And I'm like, Pinocchio shits it. What the fuck? Yeah. I mean, I'm... No, I got, I, got, I got a little... I'm and I got a little this. bit of cherry in it, I think. Right away, I'm guessing it's a Malbec. And second, it's, uh, you know, probably Argentine. This is good. And I'm getting oak for sure, but red fruits, black fruits. Yeah, it's definitely black fruits in there. Yeah. Black cherries, red cherries. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I mean, I, I will say this, and not, I'm not pretending. I actually did smell yeah, of course. cherries in there. Cherries are in there, absolutely. And there's a candied element to it. You get yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Well, I dropped mean? a couple of red hots in it. <laughs> also, take a smell. There's some cinnamon hearts in there. Yeah, take hard. a bit of a smell here and tell me, do you get uh, kind of uh, cheese, like ricotta cheese? 
Am I drinking the right one? I don't know if I get that, but I'm, I'm not very good olfactorily. No, really. that's all right. There's something. My olfactory went to Union years ago. It doesn't work the way it used to. <laughs> yeah, there's something in there. There's something But there is, the, you're right. There is something like almost like. like milky, yeah. lactic, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yogurt, I, yeah you're like right. That. There is something yeah. in there. It's like yogurty. Yeah, exactly. All right. So, is this what you, you know, do in mind school? You just sniff yeah. and drink? Okay. Who's. D- is that you? Mike's picked up that noise. That's, uh, that's off dry. So you what know. do you just do there? You gargle? Let's get some air going in that. That's all. I would say that is uh, an off dry wine. It, there's more sugar in it than you would expect. It's a little sweeter than you think. But it's not a sweet wine. Don't get I'm me wondering wrong. if my palate. Yeah, it's quite dry. But I'm wondering if my palate's fucked because I drank a bunch of beers. <laughs> like the I'm like eight beer. beers deep. <laughs> like oh, this wine is fucking. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I do get a uh, definite um, whiskey barrel. Yeah. You know something. Is it whiskey? Is it bourbon? There's is a barrel it... in there. Yeah, but I'm That's getting That's where the more... wood comes from. That is, yeah. So it's mm. aged in oak, probably. Or yeah. it's most likely oak chips. This is not an expensive wine. No, it's not expensive. Um, I wouldn't think. But I think it's probably aged in bourbon barrels. I can't remember which is which, but I think you're... I think... I think, I think and this it's is... Not, we're not saying which is which yet. No, I can't remember. I can't remember. We'll anyway, figure so. it out. Michael, reveal um, it. But I think, I think, like you're saying, it, it has a taste of it like it's not layered enough to be an expensive wine. No, it's pretty simple. Uh, and it, the winemaking that came out of it, well, get one second, Mike. I'll answer. It's uh, Malbec, I thought initially, and then mm-hmm. I'm tasting it, I'm thinking more it's Cabernet Sauvignon or less like likely. Like a blendy thing? Yeah, blends are great, but I think it's um, Cab Sauvignon. So, primarily. Uh, what's your, so if you had to rate this wine out of 10 for just a drinking wine, not not not, not a show enough wine, just a, hey, I'm going to have a glass of wine tonight, just sit and watch a movie. Where you, where you well, at with that? It's, uh, they're tannins. They're pretty smooth, though. Mm-hmm. Um, not much alcohol. I'd say this is an easy one. You can crush this bottle in an evening. No problem. Yeah, crush. yeah I think so. But it's one you would drink to get drunk. You wouldn't drink this to, in, like, you no. know, yeah. ruminate That's about right. it. You, wouldn't, you know, yeah, like 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 Jim Beam is bourbon. You drink because you want to drink bourbon. And then Jefferson Ocean is bourbon because you want to taste you're bourbon. You're drinking this when you're reading people. Yeah, magazine? you're not reading the drinking this. No, you're like you're habit. blind and you're touching their face. <laughs> <laughs> it's young. It's, it's yeah. juicy. There's not much acidity. If there was a higher acidity, I would have liked it more. Okay, it's tasty. It's fine. So what's the acidity mean? Uh, that's mouth watering. So oh, so so like, no, not that puckeriness. That dry mouth is is tannins. So that's what we've got right now. Yeah, I think you can have both. Okay, um, but the if you take a sip quickly. Yeah. So are you always, in all wines, you taste the container it's kept in? Is that part of it? And then notice how much mouth-watering there is. Just yeah, you're a right. a little bit. Yeah, it's not, not, a not lot. that much. Uh, it's actually just dry. Uh, it should be a little bit, but not a hell of a lot. It's like I'm drinking desiccant. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. Usually you can tell. Most mass-produced wines are done in stainless steel or concrete yeah. vats. And concrete. Taste steel. Yeah. Really? I like, I, this is probably primarily aged in sta- steel or concrete. Yeah, and then finished. And finished in some kind of sherry cask or whatever. It actually might be sherry, but... Um, Oak, it has a bit of that taste to it, actually. Oak it has a bit chips of... are probably thrown in yeah. there. Yeah, they yeah, throw yeah, yeah, oak yeah. chips in there? Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah, that's a thing they do to kind of like artificially age it, I well, guess. Well, to, to, like, to give it the oak flavor. Like, yeah. 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 So, okay, so that's Garbage. wine number that's one. one. So we think wine number one is um, okay. a young wine that's that's uh, that's kind of a aged with wine? oak chips in it, maybe uh, maybe in barrels I'm gonna at the end. I'm going to think this is a... It's a Malbec or a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's young. It's not expensive. It is acceptable wine. Acceptable wine. Yeah, well, okay. That's the first Wine Wine's going to be my next album, by the way. <laughs> yeah. All right, second um, one. Okay. Let's do it. And then what we'll do afterwards is we'll, we'll get reveal you to price them. point them. Yeah, well, well I'll say this well, is probably the... Uh, I'll say which is our favorite, and then we'll find out which... And then yeah. we'll find out which... Uh, this is $12. Okay. All right. Okay. So what's this? So let's this. See. That one's my favorite so far. So this, we got to look at this, right? we got to look at the edge of this. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, pretty similar there. Yeah. It smells like vodka. No. That's much different. Yeah, <laughs> quite, it's a quite a different animal, you know. We should have tricked him and done two of the same. Yeah, we should have. How do we know we didn't? Well, maybe though? we didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Man. I'm like not. I, I mean, it's I don't know if you. Same kind I don't know of... if you understand the podcast budget, but we're not buying two bottles of wine. <laughs> All right, are you this ready? This is one I had. You want to know what the first immediate difference is? Yeah. Uh, that one's half empty. The, the lactic element, that yogurt, that cheese. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not present. Well, this anywhere does... near as this one. So oh, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. So right I'm there, learning shit. Look at me. Right? Does, yeah. But you're getting red. You're getting black fruit. So broad speaking, that's what you're I wish sharing. I hadn't had COVID and didn't have smell. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, this is how I know my my nose is working. Again. I don't think I like there. this one as much. It's it's well, it's we're gonna taste it. In a it's second. a different. Um, yeah, it definitely is. It's a different. It's not as as a as a, a punch in the face smell. No, it's more subtle. It is. It's more right. floral. I hope you guys are uh, liking this at Wine Chat. I mean, the people who are not watching this have no fucking clue. Oh, you should be watching depression. this. You should be watching this on the uh, on the YouTube uh, because right now we have just uh, glasses of wine and we're just tasting them. But it's actually quite interesting. That's I don't know tasty. if you want to learn how to do it's shit. It's very tasty. Mm. That is. Um, mm. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> they can just hear us swallowing. Mm. <laughs> have you guys ever? Have you ever heard my episode where I just eat chocolate bars? All right, <laughs> Patreon <laughs> official <laughs> tasting note coming through. We should do chocolate bars. I would bars. describe this as uh, this is a dry wine. Mm. This wine is uh, medium alcohol, uh, medium plus acidity, mm -hmm. medium body. It has uh, primary uh, flavors of. Uh, blackberry, black cherry, plum, black currant. Um, yeah, that's primarily the black fruit flavor. I feel that. I feel that. I, so here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not done. Chug oh. it. Chug uh, a bit it. of um, uh, cranberry in there. Cranberry. There are secondary flavors, very subtle oak. I'd say this is, uh, there's a bit of smokiness, a bit of vanilla and baking spices from the oak, but it's very small. Is likely. there any way to verify any of this? Well, we'll, we'll look it up after. Okay. <laughs> and uh, there's no tertiary flavor. It's a young wine. Uh, it's a young the wine? finish is medium. I'd say this is uh, a step above. This is good wine, and I'm going to guess it's a Chianti. Mm. Okay. No, I'm not. Yeah, nope. I am. I'll say uh, it's a Chianti. Okay, Fuck and it. then and, uh, what's your price point in this one, mm. do you think? 15 to $20. Okay. All right, All right. what do we have? Okay, Call them so up. Go get the bottles. Go get the First bottles. of all, which one did oh. you like better? Which one do you like better? One or two. Oh, two. Two. Two is better. I like one way better. Yeah, of course. One and better, one is, better, is for one's what fine. it is, you know, I said $12. I'm going to change that to 10 to 12 And I think it Fair. is perfectly tasty and is an approachable wine. Yeah. It's meant to be drunk. It's made to be tasty. We yeah. can never take that away. This is yeah, yeah, yeah. made to yeah. taste fucking great. It makes it's made to be and enjoyed. It's, and here's it what people enjoyable. don't know. Both of these are blood from a goat <laughs> that I got drunk. Have you ever had Domaine Dwar? It's one liter, eight ninety nine. Yeah, of course. And I have. on the bottle so says good. best paired with pizza. Oh, <laughs> that's a fucking okay. So here's the Domaine thing. Door. Domain Domain Door. Domaine Door. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember Florida. those commercials from yeah. the eighties. They are horrible. Uh, they are terrible. Uh, oh, do uh, do you want to go get the bottles? I'll go get the bottles. Mikey's going to go get the bottles, ladies and gentlemen. In the meantime, I'm going to um um with a sour mouth beatbox. Uh, is this really <laughs> candy? Wine, 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 no, wine, I wine, wine. I'm gonna go with something. I know what this or is, and I and I uh, it's I know what this one is. One. Are you ready? The right, first one. What's the first one? The first one was. Okay, so the first one is you got to put it, show it to the battle. Whiskey barrel aged. Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah. Okay, show it. Put it on the again. table. Put it on the table. Yeah, and that's probably. This quality. is a. Uh, this is a. Oh, I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Yeah, Send it to me. This is so. This is a, a wine I actually drink. Sometimes, yeah. Um, it's a uh, it's a fourteen dollar wine. Yeah, twelve to fourteen dollars. All right, very good. And um and it's uh it's uh you're overpaying. I, I buy it where they sell it. And it's <laughs> <laughs> whiskey barrel aged. Um, Sam was completely right. It is a, uh, celebrates those who uh, just puts on the back a bunch of spells. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a 13.5%, yeah. so it's not a high alcohol. It's not high alcohol. Um, the alcohol is really well masked. And it. it's a uh, smoky vanilla and silky whiskey. Can I take a look? Yeah, of course you can. So we're going to read the back of the label. It says, Vintage Inc. celebrates those who tell their own distinct stories. Ooh. All right. Offering wines is audacious. Can you do it in a, like a DJ voice for me? I have to burp. Okay, fair enough. Because <laughs> it's an audio podcast. So. Vintage Inc. <laughs> celebrates those who tell their own distinct... I can't do shit, man. I don't know. Hand illustrate. You know it's a bad sign when they describe the art on the barrel. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Unless no, it's, it's a good sign. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Here, yeah, Mikey, pass me that one. Still, okay, yeah, that's a blend. It's whatever reds are popular right. in the Okanagan, it's and good. that includes Malbec. And I and I and so to to be fair, full disclosure, I drink this wine. Yeah, of course I do you like do. this wine. Um, this is my it's tasty. Um, working on a project, yeah. drinking wine. <laughs> didn't want to, didn't you know? Let myself have some carbs. Yeah, let myself drink some wine. And I, the second one, I got totally wrong, but I know this one inside out. It's a fucking 
John David. Mr. John David. Uh, it is wonderful. Uh, this is one you told me about. Yeah. I really enjoy this wine. Yeah. And this is one you told me about. I, I think it's great. The John David, what is it, sixteen ninety nine uh, a bottle? It's something like that. Yeah. It's Argentina, I think it is. Or it's Argentina. It, yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a very good one. Chucky Valley. The Chucky Valley. And, uh, high altitude Malbec. <laughs> Uh, you don't want that low that. altitude Malbec. What no, the fuck are you doing? No, no it'll be fleshy. This I still has a city. Fleshy. I love yeah, a Malbec. It's a great, Can I tell you that? I love a Malbec. This is a great fucking wine. <laughs> it's a great wine. All right. I guess to key <laughs> ante, I'm an idiot. Know no, but you you know no, what? I mean, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, Mike, can we give a round of applause for Sam? He fucking oh, nailed that shit, right? And if and 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 swishing, yeah, swishing. Do you offer any wine tips for comedians who want to learn about wine? Drink what you like. There you go. Oh. You told me not to be afraid of blends. You said don't Why be afraid of blends. Why would be afraid of blends? Because you know there's what? a Who's weird... afraid Fuck of a you. blend? Fuck everyone. Oh. Fuck everyone. Oh. Here, Here we go. go. This is what's wrong, with, so what's wrong with Sam Tonic. <laughs> it's wine that got him. It's this stupid fucking marketing idea that came from whiskey that single malt is somehow better. Uh, uh, that single anything, single varietal is somehow better. Let me yeah, tell single you Single ladies. All the single ladies. <laughs> you know, do, do, do. The Fuck greatest em. wines in the world are blends. Are they? Outside of Burgundy. Absolutely. <laughs> Outside of Burgundy. Yeah, where you have Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. The, the, be- the greatest wines in the world are blends. Uh, Bordeaux, blends. What is a blend? Super Tuscans from Italy. Blend. The Super Tuscans. The difference? Yeah, absolutely. Almost all, like the major, like Cab Savs have a little bit of something in it in California. Yeah. Uh, right. It is a blend of different grape varietals. I, I think that, I, I mean, I know nothing. The thing about me is I know bourbon, I know beer, I know whiskey, I, I know shit about wine. Yeah. And then I came to you and I said to you, I was like, I don't know anything about wine and I, I don't want to spend, uh, I, I, a $50 bottle of wine will be wasted on me. Yeah, absolutely. And I will get wasted on it, but it yeah. won't make any sense. Right. And so help me. And you said, don't be afraid of fucking blends no. and don't be afraid of this. And you gave me a bunch of great wines to try. And this was one of the ones, the Don David. And I think if I remember correctly, the Don David is a serious wine at a good price. It's it's a, it's a $60 wine. And if you're in the States, it's $4. Yeah. And <laughs> I don't know how money works. Um, but here's the thing. I mean, as grape juice goes, these are good grape juices. The great, best grape juice. Yeah. You know? I mean, I'm a corn juice guy. <laughs> That's my thing. I'm a, cor- I'm a corn. <laughs> cor- I'm a corn and hops juice guy. Corn. That's my thing. I, mean, I like whiskey. I used to be oh, more into you, it. You, but, you, yeah. yeah, but I'm just, I just, you know more about like, and I think it's fantastic that we got. Here's the thing: people think this podcast is all about just making dumb noises and just, <laughs> and just, and yeah, the let first me, half hour again. was dumb noises. <laughs> but you learned some shit today, so you can go to a dinner party with your in-laws, and you can be like, I met this girl. She's really great. I'm gonna go to her parents' place. I don't know what mm. to bring, and you can bring a bottle of Don David, and you can sit there and be like, ah, eh, cherries and blackberries you know, and fucking no yogurt, and they'll be like, holy shit, this. Dude, no shit, <laughs> and you will get a blowjob. Uh, and that's how that works. The John David Cabernet Sauvignon is even better. Is Should it? we do one? Let's get random. We got three more. Yeah, minutes. we we got we got just a few. Yeah, let's just, just do it. Let's, let's, do, let's do. Uh, that was a tube almost. That's let's boring. do. Uh, let's get, <laughs> let's get random. 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 Do you prefer traveling alone or with a group? Elaborate. I prefer traveling alone versus a group uh, because I am unencumbered by the whims of others. Wow. wow. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> you could fit that in a Bazooka Joe. Holy shit. Uh, do you, it's so now, true. Now, does that, does a group or or a partner? A partner is a different story. I love it's a traveling story. with a partner. Traveling with a partner is great because you share everything. Yeah, exactly. But traveling with a group a is idea. weird. They need, to, the, the key to being able to travel alone or with a group with a partner is you need to be able to separate and then come back. Mm-hmm. I, if you can travel with someone, they need you to be with them the whole time. That's, it doesn't that, no. You can't do it. No. 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 Like I knew this guy in a wheelchair that. the whole fucking time. <laughs> And I was like, dude, I was like, I get it. Stairs are rough, but I want to see the Coliseum. Yeah. Oh, man. They got TV in the hotel. Right? right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I got you a big room. It has the grabby bars. I'm going out. Oh, it sounds crap. worse when you look at my family. They all have disabilities. Like, 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 I'm like, really? I'm like, down with my stepmom That's why I'm stroke, like, oh, my dad. Geez. That's why I'm allowed to get away with this. Because um, your producer is handicapped. My producer's, my producer's <laughs> handicap adjacent. <laughs> I was, a, I, was a, I was hired. For he that doesn't reason. get a handicap parking spot, but he gets to park right next to the handicap <laughs> yeah, parking spot. Yeah, you know, like he's like he's like, look, you're a helper. Yeah. Um, 
Traveling alone or traveling in groups, I, I, you see, the thing is, that's a weird thing because I don't, I don't like groups of people. Wow, so I don't like. Yeah. That's why I never have anyone at my shows. It's my <laughs> fucking thing. I don't like people. But traveling with your partner or with your family, mm-hmm. yeah, that's fucking great. Like I took my dad on the road with me once. Yeah, that's nice. a lot of fun. And uh, you just gotta, yeah, you're right. You just like if, if you travel with people, because the point is traveling in, in, in enriches you as a human, mm-hmm. but being with people you love enriches you as a human. So if you can do sure. both together, yeah. Uh, that's it. If you can travel with people you love or care about, like just little things. Like uh, I went to Italy with my lady friend, and it was just the fucking best. It was just the best because you're seeing these things and you're doing these things, and you're standing on this, you know, three thousand year old fucking thing, and you're like, and you look at her and you go, I can't fucking believe we're standing on this. We're like, here. Yeah. We're here. We're queer. We're, we're having yeah. Get and over get, it. You know, get over it. And we're having we're having <laughs> champagne out of plastic glasses in Italy. Thank you, because after seven p.m. you're not allowed to class. I'm sure it was prosecco. It was. Uh, I think it was prosecco. Probably we were poor. We're still poor. Uh, well, we're not poor. We're fine. But the point is, it's like it was. Like, we were sitting there. <laughs> it's like I. I have another kidney to sell if I need to. So we were sitting across kid. the Parthenon, and we're just like, yeah. holy shit! Like we're here. That's in Greece, right? No, that's the Pantheon. The Parthenon is in, or is it the other way around? I thought the Parthenon. No, the Parthenon might be in Greece. The Pantheon. Look, it's a P word. It's a P word. It's Hadrian built it. We were sitting there looking at it. I don't (laughs) fucking know, man. There was pizza. I just didn't give a shit. The point is, I was with the person I love Mm -hmm. and I care about, and that's all that matters. And then the the idea that you're in this place with this other person that you can share this thing with is incredible. Right? This 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 moment of like you're like. Man, every yeah. decision I've ever made in my life has brought me to this place where I can sit in this history. Like, if you walk uh, the old forum in in Rome, mm-hmm. it, you know, you think of it as being like ancient Rome, but it's like, it's thousands of years of history. It starts before the empire yeah. into the Republic, and it ends up in the Middle Ages. And there's all this shit that you're walking, and you're like, that's Caesar's house. That's fucking Julius Caesar's house. Have you ever watched, uh, or sorry, walked the um, forum in Montreal? Yeah, I've walked the Montreal for him. Yeah, and that's cool. where R- Rocket Richard was, and uh, and he is the Julius Caesar of uh, Canadian hockey. <laughs> in that ev- the people stabbed him to death, which is <laughs> hockey sticks. Yeah. I think it should, we should just have a podcast called Alternative History, where we just make up facts. Isn't that we called just take drunk them. history? Like that? Yeah, but not drunk. Like alter- we just make we just up make facts up about a thing. We just be like, oh, you know how um, fucking Abraham Lincoln got assassinated? You know how the snake? Hey, you know who's in Someone town? Someone threw a snake at him. <laughs> Who can help with us? Who? Elon Musk. Mm. I asked if he wanted me to open for him. He hasn't got back to me. Yeah, he he was he was in town today. <laughs> he said no. I'm busy. Yeah, I don't mm. know. Mm. I'm making rocket chips today. Yeah, he was at. Oh the TED fuck! He didn't reply. Right? I mean, I said to him, I was like, yeah. look, man, if you I want tweeted help, him. Is he, he in town? Is that what you're referencing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know. If idea. you want to help with your Twitter shit. I said to him, I was like, I was like, I'll open for you. Yeah. I offered <laughs> Elon Musk to open because I thought it would be hilarious to have. A comedian nobody knows open for Elon Musk at a TED Talk. Yeah. I just go out and I tell five minutes of the most horrendous fucking jokes I know. And they'd be like, space guy. And I fucking leave. Yeah. And then space guy comes out with his hair plugs and he's like. Yeah, because that's the only work he's had is hair plugs, right? <laughs> that guy's, he's got the best hair plugs in the game. That's yeah. crazy. Well, I, I mean, if you have $300 billion, you can get pretty good hair plugs. If I had, if I had $300 billion, I would hire people to pull my hair out. Yeah. Why you know? not? Like, fuck, fuck it. it. On TV. <laughs> like, who gives a shit you have fucking jeff bezos what kind of fucking so what you're telling this? me is jada pinkett smith has a lot of money she's rich <laughs> she had, did you if see her hair at the oscars dollars. they were it was beautiful <laughs> so short it was uh, yeah short hair don't Hind care tight, you, know you know what know? i mean like jesus you know christ oh, chris man. rock fuck you you know chris rock was in the wrong there <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get kicked out of the studio in about two minutes oh yeah Anything we gotta go. wrap it up um uh sam tell everyone where they can find you samtony.com that's it no, well, no social media? It's all linked. Santonic.com. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you for listening to the podcast. Um, find me at Unfamous on Twitter. That's my personal Twitter. At WWWSK Podcast on Twitter. Or send us a letter at WWWSK Podcast at gmail.com. You can, um, if you're not watching this, please go to the YouTube and subscribe and watch it. Share, uh, like, and review. And um, uh, Mikey Greenwood, where can they find you? Instagram, Mike Greenwood Fun. Mike Greenwood Fun. And That's we it. also have a we have a, an Instagram for the uh, podcast. All right. And an Instagram for the uh, TikTok for the podcast it's, and uh, Twitter for the podcast. It's Simon King, open bracket podcast. You account. can just pretty much find me. 
Yeah. Just just type in uh, "sad man who doesn't know it's over." Sad man who doesn't know it's over. <laughs> um, thank you so much for listening Woo! and or watching Thanks, the podcast. Uh, thank you, Sam Tonning. Thank you for your, your wine, wine education. Which one was your favorite? Dose. The Don. The Don. Yours too. Mine was yeah, first. I, I, I like the I, Don. I like the Don. Actually. I like the cheap. He likes the cheap. Uh, thank you so much, and that's what's wrong this week. Mm-hmm.